Act C, REZ 2015-11, the Orchard at Stone Creek. This is the Tilton Crossing Road. This is a request for R10 to PD, non-residential. Mr. David. Yes, sir. Thank you. This particular request, I'm going to try to be brief, and if you want me to expand on a point, please ask a question, but I'm going to try to keep things short this morning, initially. Um, ultimately, what they are asking for is to change the zoning on 24 acres that we saw earlier in this year for some residential housing for an assisted living facility. You see the site plan within your packets. I tried to give you a definition of an assisted living facility before you and kind of a, a care scale that has helped me understand what is assisted living. And ultimately, assisted living is somewhere between independent living and really nursing home. A nursing home, what differentiates this, differentiates this from a nursing home is nursing home where you, where you pick in kind of 24 hour skilled nursing care. This is not that level of care. They don't want to be that level of care. So this is someone who might need just a little bit more attention with their medications, just making sure everything is okay. Um, I know one of the <clears throat> aspects they want to have at this facility is Alzheimer's memory care. So I want you to um, just kind of get a picture in your minds about what that is. With that, where it is, is the entire 24 acres that we actually had for this piece of property earlier, they want to take that entire acreage. So where there was a plan for 50 plus homes, um, they now want to rezone, rezone and actually just make it for assisted living. So there would not be any houses allowed kind of as an accessory to this particular use. And so with that, I want that I want you to have some kind of scale about what they're asking for. There's not some kind of combination. It's really one or the other uh, is the direction they're going. Ultimately, within your packet um, at the Planning Commission meeting, one of the things that they really um, focused on was questioning of staff, questioning of the applicants who are here this morning. Um, really, that question probably, when I said healthy, it probably was about 30 to 45 minutes worth of questioning for both of us. With that, ultimately, um, from a staff standpoint, we got to a site plan with zero conditions. Planning Commission added five conditions to that site plan. I can tell you that the applicants are in favor of conditions number one and number four in the packet. They're not in favor of two, three, and five. So after the Planning Commission meeting, staff focused on working with the applicant to see what kind of direction we were going to have in anticipation of this meeting. And really, um, should the commission so choose, I've got some language that I'm working on for conditions number one and four. And number two uh, is probably, in, in our opinion, best addressed through an update, to, an update to the site plan. What I anticipate being updated is note one and note two on the site plan. Um, so my intent is to work with their engineer to try to get that to you before tomorrow night. But ultimately, that is the package we're going to try to set up for you tomorrow is to have those conditions for number one and number four um, to a point to where they're ready for your consideration. And then to have the site plan updated with the new note one and a new note uh, two. With that, uh, I'll try to address any questions or kind of expound on the history or anything else, but I, I think that's kind of the brief summary I'd want to give this one. Mr. Bevin, any questions for Mr. Bevin? Hearing none, we'll move on to agenda item.